One of my favorite spiritual disciplines practiced at Project Transformation is community dinners. In this space, people sit down next to each other, usually in metal folding chairs, and get to know one another. They ask to pass the garlic bread for a second helping, and they talk about their families and where they went to school and their hometowns. And sometimes they even talk about big things like how neighborhoods have changed in their city in the past few years or where they think God is calling them next. Something I've learned about my own vocational journey is that I learn more and more about myself as I'm in relationships with others. And that's why community donors have been so impactful for me personally. Sometime I'm sitting next to someone I met just a few minutes ago and they call out a gift that they see in me. And sometimes I'm sitting next to someone I've known for years and they encourage me in my journey. I hope I've been able to do the same for others too. You know, there's just something about sharing a good meal and of course a good dessert too, usually, that creates a space for these holy moments of togetherness. And then I think, no wonder Jesus broke bread with others so often. You know, I've always struggled to really figure out uh, what the Lord's calling is on my life. Uh, but I've been so grateful for the fact that I've been able to get involved with um, some different spiritual disciplines and some different communities um, that are a part of PT that have really helped me discern uh, where the Lord is leading me. And uh, he's leading me in the direction of service. And so not necessarily having a direction you know, in service itself, uh, but just uh, serving other people and loving other people and doing everything I can to uh, honor what, what the Lord uh, puts in front of me uh, and giving my all to whatever the Lord puts in front of me. I'm Ashley, and this is my second summer serving with Project Transformation. Throughout my time at Project Transformation, I've learned about spiritual disciplines such as community groups and worship, and my community group has helped me to remember my why of what I'm doing. Remembering my why has helped me stay motivated throughout the summer, and it is something that I will continue to do in my career, in the jobs that I have, and just for my calling in general. Spiritual disciplines have been a really important part of my vocational call. Um, serving as house pastor at PT was such an amazing opportunity for me to understand how much I loved curating spaces where folks could encounter each other, encounter God, and even encounter themselves in new ways. Um, through worship, through prayer, through these small groups. Um, and I've come to understand my role and my call in life as a pastor and a facilitator and an educator. And PT was a really big part of that. Hello everyone, my name is Christopher Monterrubio. I am at PT North Texas, and I would like to share with you what I learned about my calling through spiritual discipline. The first one being prayers. I'd always felt led to lead prayers in my group as it was a perfect way to set the tone for the rest of the day and for myself. Sharing the good word with others always set my soul at ease and gave me the confidence and faith in continuing my task throughout work. Being the one to set the tone and share the love always felt like it, it was something that my Lord would do for me. So I thought, why not also do it for my brothers and sisters and work? That is what I learned in my calling through spiritual disciplines. I hope this inspires some to continue their path and follow the inner genuine of the self. With many prayers and love to share, apart but still together.